What's up guys, Aquarium Conversations back here again with another quick video I promise this time. Um, this is just kind of a rough draft, first look if you will. I really wouldn't even call it a draft, but just uh, a way to maybe ignite some ideas in my head of what I want to do with this 20 gallon long tank. Um, last time you guys saw this tank, uh, I essentially just set it up and filled it with water. Uh, just to essentially show you what it looked like filled and, um, you know, see if it would hold up weight-wise and stability-wise on this chest of drawers that I have. So I have good news to share with you that it, uh, it is holding fine. I haven't had any issues. Um, I think long-term the tank will be fine here. I've talked with people at my local pet store. They said I should be in good shape. So... Moving forward, now it's uh, looking at what I can do as far as escape. Uh, and actually, let me back up here. I think when I shot the video, I didn't have any filtration in here, any lighting. So I can briefly talk about the lighting that I went with, the, the heater, filter, all that kind of normal stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, 20 gallon tank, so I've got a 150 watt heater in here uh, that, uh, let me see if I can maybe focus in, you guys can see their heater there, uh, temperature, not that it's important because I don't really have anything in there, but essentially you can see it's adjustable, if you, you know, look here you can see the little notches where you can adjust it, I definitely recommend the adjustable heaters versus the preset heaters uh, because you may want to adjust the temperature of water based on a couple of things, uh, livestock, plants, um, you know, you want to be able to have that option. Uh, you guys know I'm a fan of internal filters, so I have the Ovation, uh, I believe this is, is the 210, this is uh, rated for a 20 gallon tank, so I have that running. I don't know if you guys can see, but the water flow is right where I want it. Um, that uh, will definitely allow for oxygen in the water. Also, to help with the oxygen, I'm running a sponge filter, too. You guys know I like to double up all my filtration. Uh, what else? Um, I got a lid for the tank. Picked up this lid. This lid uh, is also the same size for the 29-gallon tank, if you guys are wondering. Same size lid. Um... The light, the light. So if you guys notice, I don't have a light on top of the tank. And I wanted to try something different here where I wanted to essentially have the tank lit in a different way. Plant wise, um, I'll talk a little bit more of that um, as we get further along with the scape. But I didn't really want to put, you know, plants in here that needed a lot of light. I wanted this tank to look different. I wanted the light to come maybe from different angles, not necessarily from the top down, but maybe from the back side, things like that. So I went with this submersible light. Um, and I believe this is, uh, I got it on Amazon. I think it's a Ming, Ming Dak, M-I-N-G-D-A-K. Uh, I had a, had a bunch of good reviews. The light was fairly inexpensive. This is a 18 inch light which you can see uh, really illuminates this 30 inch long tank so I'm quite pleased with that I can do if you guys want a separate video on this uh, light uh, later on but um, it has the uh, blue filters in it you can see the light change in there um, so I'm really excited about that in case I want to you know uh, show off, you know, whatever sort of uh, color spectrum and things like that with the blue lights. So I'll leave it there for now. And talking about the scape, I promise this will be a quick video, but I am looking for that kind of riverbed look. So I really lucked out when I found this piece of manzanita driftwood. And if I'm uh, not mistaken, I think manzanita is a root. I could be wrong. But I looked up and found it in my pet store, local pet store. Um, and I jumped on it because I think it would look great in a longer tank, which you guys tell me what you think. I think it looks awesome. So the idea here that I'm going to try and go for is essentially, 
you know, one side, not to give anything, not to give too much away, but I want to kind of do rocks on one side or maybe even in front, do some plants behind it, kind of have an open swimming space with some span, with some sand and some smaller pebbles and things like that. That's kind of my idea. I know that I said that quickly, but I do have an image in mind of what I want and how I want to escape this tank. So this is just kind of a outline, rough sketch, if you will. Um, like I said, a way to just kind of get some ideas as, uh, as far as how I want to set up this tank, but I'm really excited. I uh, can't wait to, uh, set it up. I'm going to try and do a video taking you guys step by step through the scape. Hopefully that's something I'm able to do and, and at the same time have a, uh, you know, a, a short video. I don't want it too long. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try it a time lapse or something like that but nonetheless just wanted to show this uh to you guys let you know um kind of what my where my mind's at as far as setting it up uh letting you guys know i have everything i need to run a tank filter heating uh and lighting so let me know what you guys think in the comments any questions uh as always leave them down below i'll do my best to try and uh, answer them for you and get back to you and as always i will talk to you guys down the road bye